I feel like I've already recorded this intro before, but there's two things I want to say here. First off, I hate myself because the last time I logged off this account, we were in the middle of this quest. So anytime I come on Swords Only, it throws me right back into this quest again. I have no way out of it except for actually completing it. Second off, I've been sitting here for like an hour. Actually, okay, no, it's actually been three hours. I lied. And I've just been trying to decide what I want to do in this video because I know in Sumeru, a lot of what we have to do is just quests in dialogue, and obviously that does not make for the best YouTube content. But you know what? I've decided to not try and come up with an idea of what I want to do. I just want to record and see what happens. I just want to have fun. And I mean, we're playing Genshin Impact, so that's actually really difficult to do. <laughs> I'm obviously joking, kind of. Oh no, not the red levels in here too. I know I did this on my main, but I don't remember it at all. Pretty sure it was during a live stream though. That same live stream when Sumeru was first released. Oh, this is when we go back to Inazuma, right? Yep. Also, I saw someone in the last video, I think it was this account, they left a comment about the whole red levels on every enemy thing. They said all I need to do is get one character to level 90 on the account. It doesn't matter if I'm even using them. I, I mean, that might be true. I just find that very hard to believe. The fact that they would make you max out a character completely just to get rid of the whole red level thing. I don't know that I buy that. I think it's just the overall combined level of all my characters. Oh, I've transformed into Navi. Hey, listen. Hey, listen. Hey, listen. I don't know what else it says. That's the only quote that I know. Hey, listen. Did I did it? I did did it. So we should be free from this prison now. Oh, we've now entered the other prison. Space. Oh, this is when it turns into a painting, right? I mean, not that I know that. Definitely never done this quest in my life. What nice scenery this is. I actually don't know what I'm meant to do at this point. Do I go into it? I can't go into it. Or can I? Okay, no, this invisible wall. I mean, my quest is investigate the courtyard, but I kind of can't. Oh, okay. Never mind. I see it now. Right here. Right, right here. Something's supposed to happen. Excuse me, game. Right here. Huh. Well, like I've said, we've now entered a new prison. I kind of can't leave. Game? Game, would you like to let me progress? Please. Okay, look, it's gone. Now it's back. Now we stand here. Uh-huh. Huh? Mm hmm. Oh. Uh. Okay. No. No. I. I see what I'm. I see what I'm supposed to do. Now I just feel kind of stupid. You know, I could just cut all of that out of the video, and it's like it never happened. Or I could leave it in and look like an idiot, which is probably what I'm gonna do. Space. Oh, I forgot that this dude was in here. I wish Ayako was here now. I am genuinely... Oh, I was gonna say I'm doing actually no damage. But I guess it was scripted for me to do no damage. I knew I didn't need Ayaka. Mwa ha 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 ha. You know they're evil when they put the mwa in front of ha ha ha. Freedom! We've escaped! I can leave. There was so much dialogue there. Swords Only has been trapped in there for so many days. Because I'm gonna be honest, since the last video of Swords Only, I haven't come back on this account. Well, I mean, I did, only to find that I was stuck in there. So dailies and resin have not been being done. I panicked only seeing about 900 primos on the account, but I forgot I've been converting them. So we're almost up to being guaranteed a five star. And obviously we have Water Girl coming up in the next update second half, I think. But in the last video, I did say we're probably not going to get to the desert on any account when that comes out because I just have so much else I need to do still. And then someone in the comments reminded me that new sword girl is probably gonna need stuff in the desert which means i'm gonna have to go through and do all of sumeru or at least maybe not because maybe we won't have to finish the sumeru story in order to access the desert at least i can hope that that's the case i despise ella musk oh you want to go make friends with the hill of churls don't wake the others you say okay oopsies it appears i've accidentally woken them up hey hey ella these were the hill of churls you wanted to talk to like like that one right there he's looking a little crispy right now you wanted to talk to this one too huh Oh, that's unfortunate. He's not alive anymore. Yeah, good luck talking to them now. <laughs> or should I say, ha 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 ha. I suppose it wouldn't be a Java the Cup video unless we went ahead and got some bad artifacts. Both Lumion and Cookie are hoping to get something of value out of here. Oh, resin's kind of maxed, huh?
Oops. Come on. Give me something good. No, thanks. Uh, how about, how about, how about this one? Crit, ooh, oh, crit rate, crit damage attack percent. Uh, yes. <laughs> I'm not even going to keep farming before I try and power that up. This doesn't even have to be for this specific set. This is just potentially a really good piece for any DPS. I'm hoping for all the crit damage in the world. I hate this game. Rolled twice into flat defense and then twice into attack percent. I mean, I'm gonna keep it just because it's crit rate, but that is rather disappointing. How about I spend the rest of my resin, which will be three more condensed and then 160 more, and I'll just show you only if I get anything worthwhile. Slight change of plans. I used up the rest of my condensed resin in the other artifact domain, didn't get anything worth keeping. And since today is Sunday, I figure it's probably a better idea to farm things that are limited time. For example, some more materials to ascend this weapon. So that's what we're gonna go do now. Yo, Bloom is kinda crazy, or rather Hyper Bloom kinda crazy. Not that we didn't already know that. Excuse me, sir. I have used up all my resin, so now all I need are some of your drops. Isn't that so lucky for you? You get to trade your life for living forever inside of my sword. Honestly, it should be an honor. Ooh, lucky me, I actually got exactly enough of both. Now it's time to claim our extra EM. So I just popped open my artifact page. I was going through seeing what everyone had and Lumine has a nice defense percent sans. I don't know why she has that and I figure I might as well give her energy recharge and complete the set. Although this one just rolled defense percent, but that's fine because I have a nearly identical one right here. So maybe this one will roll better and it gets flat HP. Okay, so maybe I will go with the defense percent one. Scratch that, I'm gonna go with the HP one. Maybe I just shouldn't go with either of them. That's a very interesting crit ratio. It's almost exactly one-to-one. -one. I love how these dudes rock up and they're like, oh, you must be new here because we don't have any information on you in our database. It's like when you log on to any website and you have to register an account so they can track all of your data and sell it to other companies. Sorry to say, Mr. Sumeru Inhabitant number one, but I'd rather you didn't have my data. I only see this ending poorly. Oh, we're in the system. Now I'm going to start receiving targeted ads. Yeah, that's another thing. Doesn't this thing show everyone else? Else, like the character's age and everything. So what do they see if they look at Lumion? It's definitely in the hundreds. Oh, you're so right, Paimon. We could go talk to the fellow AI. Hello there, Miss Keyhole. Wait a second. This girl was just standing over here and then people came and she sprinted all the way to right here. And then she claims she can't run anymore. Let's just hide inside. You would expect her to go in here, but no, she runs across the entire city to go hide inside. Something isn't adding up here. This is like triple the distance of where she already went. But I'm willing to overlook it because the music in this place is so nice. Not that I'm hearing anything. In fact, what I'm hearing right now is just silence. Because like I've said before, I have to play the game with no music so that I can add music later. Also, I know she isn't, but can she please be a main DPS pyro sword user? That would be very much appreciated. Oh no, please not another festival. I'm getting PTSD flashbacks to the Geo Archon's whole story quest. Please no fetching quests. It's time to go meet her. And by her, I mean a potential new teammate in the future. What are the odds that I'm actually able to bring her home though? She really does give me Azura vibes from Fire Emblem. Wait, where'd she go? Oh, she's up there. Okay, good. I really hope that we do win the 50-50. It's gonna be very disappointing if we don't. We'll let the AI out. Uh, yeah, I'd like to report that we have an AI on the loose. Please dispatch all personnel to get her back where she belongs. Please be aware as she may have become sentient. We have her in our sights. The traveler is currently making negotiations. We will use force if necessary. For now, let's just try to de-escalate the situation. There are many civilians around. We do not need any collateral damage. It appears negotiations were successful. She is heading back to her stand. All personnel stand down. This girl doesn't expect to be working for her clients for very long, but that's understandable because she's gonna be working for me on my main account. When she releases in, what, like six months? Oh, you know what this is. Once I step foot down here and activate this part of the story, I will be stepping into completely new territory for any of my accounts, at least regarding the whole Archon quest, because I've not yet done this anywhere. You know, just for a moment, I'm going to max out the sound effects volume. Very loud, yes. But obviously, like I said earlier, I don't play the 
game with music on. And a lot of the time I do miss the music, but like right now, listen to this. You just- oh, just shut up, Kaching. You just hear like the faint sounds of nature in the background. And if I walk, it's way too loud. But just like the ambience is so nice. With that being said, let's turn this back down before we go deaf. And yes, I took off the mini sealy right before doing that because if I left it on, all of our eardrums would have been blown out. This is actually a really nice spot. I- oh- Okay, cussing. I just really like the atmosphere here. Like this outdoor seating with the umbrellas along the port. It's just very nice. Oh, and with the sunrise. It doesn't get better than that. Here's my question. I know if I give him 50 more, he's just gonna laugh at me. But if I give him 500,000, does that actually take 500,000 out of my bank? Because that's kind of a lot of money. Well, I guess we're gonna find out. Hey, look who it is. It's the... Excuse me. Uh, I know you're all fighting but can I have my money back, please? Yeah, thank you. It's my money and I want it now. I'm so hesitant to pronounce any of the Sumeru characters' names because I'm always afraid I'm going to say it wrong and I don't want to. And I've been told that in Arabic, the al translates to the, so that's why I just call him the, but I kind of like him so far. He just shows up, he gets down to business, doesn't beat around the bush. Now we can just hope that he wields a sword. Now imagine in the end, it turns out that we are also an AI and Paimon has just been controlling us and that's why she talks and we don't. That's what I've been looking for. Ah. Are you sure about that? That's a knowledge capsule. Okay, then I can assure you that is not what I'm looking for. It stores a fixed quantity of canned knowledge. Yo, where can I buy myself some of that? Is there like a vending machine I could visit and get some canned knowledge? Or is that something you should just get at the grocery store? Not that I would need it or anything. After all, I am an AI. I don't need your knowledge, but just asking for a friend. I need to find someone named Dory. I'm pretty sure Disney already took care of that. Am I really supposed to know the difference between raw fruit or unripe fruit? I would assume you'd buy unripe and then you know it ripens in a few days and you could eat it without it going bad. I don't know if there's any difference. Was there really a right answer? Following the paper got us past the first round. Oh, I did some- wait, there's a paper? Wait, what paper? Wait, 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 what paper? Oh, oh, there is a paper. Oh, this is like memorizing a script. All right, Maybe it is a good thing I'm an AI after all. Hey, Paimon, it would be a really nice relaxing walk over here if you would just stop talking. I feel like I say that in every episode. Ooh, my trust is not looking good. I was confused for a second, but I think I understand what's going on here. Fruits were taken by mice and mice as customers according to their code, so that's good. So congratulations. I don't know if I'm supposed to be buying in bulk or just a single one. Am I supposed to know this? I mean, as a customer, it sounds better if you're buying a lot. Ah, right? Okay, okay, I guess that was the right answer. This dude trusts me so much. I think at this point he would give his life for me. Wait, what's happening? Why are we running? <laughs> that dude is just out of here. Okay, maybe he wouldn't give his life for us since he just ran away and left us there for dead. Hey, yo, this place is like a maze already. I don't think you need to go that far. Hey, Mr. The, I, I found the girl you wanted, so can we stop this now? Okay, so she is one of these instant microwavable knowledge things, and it's about the dialects of Hillichurls. Only three people in all of Tevat have ever studied it. Is stupid little Ella Musk one of them? And if not, I will make sure that she never gets her hands on that because I hate her. Oh, I could take this one and become an expert in historical architecture, that'd be good for if I ever play Minecraft again. So what they're teaching us here is to keep gambling. This is basically like the Traveler's Us, Paimon is Hoyoverse. And Paimon is just like, come on, come on, spend the money. Come on, let's let's do it again, let's do it again. And Lumin's like, nah, I don't think so. She's like, yeah, let's do it, you wanna do it. Is this just Hoyoverse trying to gaslight us into spending more money on their game? I'm kind of feeling like it is. Ah, <sighs> Paimon is so stupid. She made us buy the instant knowledge ramen and it's probably gonna turn out to be useless. I will be shocked if it actually does anything. But that's what we're gonna find out right here. So I'm supposed to fight these things to see if this actually does anything. I'm fully expecting nothing to be different. And now we activate our Chegg account. Oh boy, I can't wait to have boosted damage permanently on my account because that's something that Hoyoverse would definitely implement. Although I like how the one that we got was one for sword play and this is swords only. Kind of makes sense. Wow, my overall fighting performance increased by a trivial amount. You know, you know what this amount reminds me of? The chance of getting a five star. Really, really, my quest is wait two days. <sighs> All right, one day and about 
two days, I think. This is my favorite part of the game right here. Just watching this dial spin around, it's really, oh, it just gets me so excited, honestly. I remember back when we could skip this whole animation and then they patched it where you can't. Oh, that wasn't long enough. Hold on, hold on. Gotta wait a little bit longer here. What's up, Sydney, Australia? I feel like the Japanese voice actor for her had a lot of fun with these lines. They're definitely quite expressive with them. Here's the thing. With this whole quest, I'm actually going through and reading everything because the first time I go through the Archon quests, I like to actually know the story. The problem is, when I go to do this on the other accounts, this is just a lot of back and forth. <laughs> it's gonna suck when I go to do it again. But the first time, it's fine. Ooh, can I get a trial of him, even though he's not gonna be released for a long time? Maybe? Give me a trial. Give me a- Wait, where'd he go? Mr. The, where did you go? Excuse me? Why are you not helping me fight? This is your battle. Fine, I'll do it myself. <gasps> a cutscene. I like cutscenes. Oh, I'm guessing we're gonna see Mr. The do something. Oh, he doesn't look that intimidating. Look at this boy go. He better be a sword. I want to use him. Not this dude. I don't care about that guy. I want to use Mr. The. And I finally don't have to say Genshin anime when. It's gonna happen. It's festival time. Wait, nope, not in here. Let's try that again. It's fest. It's festival. Where fe festival? Where's the entrance? Okay, right here. This is it. <laughs> okay, this time for real. It's festival time. I'm so glad that they set up the festival and I didn't have to help at all. Otherwise, it would have been just like the Geo Archon quest. Oh, let me guess. You prepared a room for me to rest. It's gonna be at a hotel, and we're not gonna see the interior. That's always how hotels work in this game. You never actually see the inside of them. I'm still salty about the one from the rebuilding of the Jade Chamber quest. I want to know what the inside of that place looks like can i go in the hotel can i actually see oh we actually get to see inside of it oh this is the best update genshin has ever had it's about time i could see our accommodations for the night but for those of you who do remember that hotel in the rebuilding of the jade chamber quest line it was smaller than this building and there were apparently multiple rooms inside that's why i want to see the interior of that place so badly oh they're already name dropping the next potential region i thought fontaine was going to be next i mean there's nothing Nothing concrete saying that, I don't think. Does that mean the Pyro Archon is next? That's kind of concerning because I have a feeling that the Cryo Archon is gonna be the first Cryo Catalyst. So the further they push that out, the further a Cryo Catalyst is from being brought home on spells only. Wait, what am I doing? I'm just giving items here. You can have a Lizard Tail and a Sakura Bloom. Actually, I kind of probably need those. No, maybe I don't. Yeah, you know what? Just take it. I doubt it even matters. Okay, listen to me. Listen to me. Do not talk to this person in the stall. Please, please. No, 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 no. No. Why does he look like a clown? What's with the mustache? You know, be kind of funny if I do get the lizard tail flavor after we just gave the other guy a lizard tail. Alright, so which one would be the lizard tail? I'm gonna go with four. It's definitely number four. Please be the lizard tail. No! I wanted the lizard tail. I guess it is in fact not festival time. Beep. Whoa, what's the beep? Who forgot to change the batteries in their smoke detector? Uh-oh, we're time travelers now. Oh no, I have to repeat this part? Mm, I'd rather not. How dense is Lumine that she hasn't registered that she's just repeating the same day? She's like, oh, this is weird. I thought I've seen this. Is this deja vu? No, obviously not. But you know what I get? I get another attempt at getting the lizard tail. We can't mess it up this time. We know it's not four, so it's one of the other ones. This is my redemption arc. The reason they let you loop here is so you can keep looping until you get the lizard tail. All right, I'm getting it this time. So, <laughs> you know what I just realized? Not only do I have to do this entire quest on all my other accounts, I have to do this part, which means I have to do this part of the quest at least twice on every account. That sure sounds exciting. All right, let's go lizard tail number five. It's definitely number five. No, wait, no, I no, I picked five. I, I definitely did not pick four. This is the worst timeline. It's an infinite loop 
loop where I can never pick lizard tail. What a face. Yeah, have you ever experienced deja vu? You've never experienced deja vu? I find that very hard to believe. What a face. Oh, yeah, let's go back and sleep again. I wonder what's gonna happen. Surely we're not gonna wake up and repeat the same day again. Why is there a squirrel in our room? Excuse me. Paimon, fly up there and get rid of that. Oh, oh, smoke detector still needs batteries. How could I forget? I feel like I've already recorded this intro before, but there's two things I want to say here. First off, I hate myself because the last time I logged off this account, we were in the middle of this quest. So anytime I come on Swords Only, it throws me right back into this quest again. I have no way out of it except for actually completing it. Whoa, fancy meeting you here. Please, please just lizard. You're going to force me to pick four, aren't you? I'm going to take... No oh, uh, I'm going to... Num, num, uh, four. No, I don't want four. Maybe four. Four? No, four. Four is like four is just the obvious answer. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with four. Gosh, it's just like the 2.8 live stream all over again with the conches. I keep seeing the same things. What a face. <gasps> it was a ghost. Or maybe it was a goblin. I think I just witnessed a goblin sighting. I saw a goblin, Paimon. D goblin! Don't you worry, Paimon. I'll take care of that thing right now. I'll slap it around with my sword. It'll never terrorize this city again. Oh, it's gonna be the bird, isn't it? It's gonna be the bird. Oh, it was the bird. I'm a genius. What can I say? I'm just too smart for this game. I'm too intelligent. We meet at last, little goblin. <laughs> Uh, alert. How about I just make you guys stare at this for a minute? I think you'd like that, right? There's nothing creepy about this. Oh, is that supposed to be a hint? Meeting you is the real catalyst? Oh, catalyst user. Every time I see this name, I want to say Nadia, but that's like the exact opposite of what it is. Oh, what is this? There's a mini game for thinking? What? Is that Lumin talking? I genuinely can't even tell. I don't even recognize her voice because we never hear her talk. Wait a second. They're extracting information from us? How would they do it? <gasps> it's almost like there's something on all of our heads that they could just pull that information from. We're all gonna start getting targeted heads. Thank goodness they're not making me repeat it again here. This is gonna suck to do on the other accounts. <laughs> what? Do, yeah. Did you just say to flush my anxiety dookie away? <laughs> Excuse me? What is this dialogue turning into? After they take a duke duke? Someone changed that smoke detector. Okay, I swear I've recorded this intro already, but there's two things I want to say. First off, I hate myself because the last time I logged off this account, we were in the middle of this quest. So anytime I come on Swords Only, it throws me right back into this quest again. I have no way out of it except for actually completing it. <gasps> Look what I found. A rare spelling mistake. I did it. What do I win? Hoyaverse, what do I win? I will accept 10,000 Primo Gems as my reward. Thank you very much. Dang. Traveler just sat on that bench for like six hours. Your back must be killing you. Kind of upset that we were just over here. And then they made me teleport to the other side of the city to sit on a bench just to come right back. I feel like that wasn't necessary. I don't know if I agree with this line of thought. Because they're saying that the human brain is like full of the most wisdom when you're dreaming because that's when it's most active. But when you're dreaming, you can't really think of things you don't already know. So if you're trying to learn something or crack a code, you're really not going to do that in your sleep unless you already know the answer. Who are you? You're the goblin. Maybe it's just me, but uh, that girl passing away seemed like a very lackluster way of doing it. All of a sudden you wake up and oh yeah, you know, she's gone by the way. But on top of that, I knew this was going to to happen because Hoyoverse spoiled me. I don't think it's gonna be Mr. Candyman, but apparently our first suspect is Mr. Candyman. All right, Willy Wonka, what do you got to say? Oh, I actually get to fight something? This is like the first thing I've fought in probably two hours, maybe even longer. Actually, the last thing I fought was the group of enemies with Mr. The. Oh no, my worst enemy. Unvoiced walls of text. Is it finally festival time? It's finally festival time. This is what Hoyover spoiled me on. This cutscene. Because they posted it only a couple days after it was put into the game. I need this music. Whatever this song is, I need it for future videos. Oh, that's a thumbnail right there. All I'm gonna say is if this girl is still alive, I'm not gonna be happy. Oh, this doesn't look good. Wait, why is the AI back? But what I mean is, wasn't the whole point of that to make you feel sad for her? And then she's just back as if nothing happened? 
why? Oh, wait, constellations. I forgot that we could even get those for the traveler. Maybe it's just me personally, but whenever in anime or movies, games, whatever, whenever a character is killed off, maybe besides Senora, um, I want them to stand by that decision. Don't backtrack on it. No backpedaling here. Oh, so this isn't Catherine. This is fake Catherine, so not an AI. Hmm, but she's saying that she entered her mind, so perhaps she isn't an AI. Oh, never mind. I borrow this bionic Schnizniyan puppet. I don't like that they're throwing around this term puppet all over the place. There's only one puppet that exists in my mind, and that's the Raiden Shogun's puppet. And no, not the little big hat man. I mean the actual Raiden Shogun's puppet. In terms of Archon quests, ignore this. This is the chasm. I think that's all of the Sumeru stuff that's released right now. Which means even though I haven't even opened up all the map here, this account will be ready when the desert releases. And that means we'll be able to go ahead, use all of our primo gems on the intertwined fates and hope that we win our 50-50 in the second half of 3.1. So we still have plenty more time to save up some more Primo gems. Oh, jeez. Look at all these achievements. Well, that took quite a number of hours, but I was reminded about this. So I would like to try and figure out how we get more of these. I don't know if we can get all of them yet. Maybe we can, but that's a job for the next video. I know this one was a bit all over the place and we did the entire quest line here. So that should be fun to try and edit down. But with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. And as always, I will see you guys next time.